Hi. Here we have the system of linear equations. Let's solve it using Gaussian elimination method. First of all, notice that we have non-zero free terms, so we will perform all the operations with augmented matrix. Let's write this matrix. In the first row we have 2, negative 1, 3, and 4. In the second row, negative 3, 2, 1, and 5. And in the third row, negative 4, 2, negative 6, and negative 8. Once again, we intend to represent this matrix in a triangular form, which means that we must get 1s on the main diagonal, zeros below it, and some values above it. Also, we know that we can swap rows, add or subtract them, multiply or divide them by real non-zero numbers. So, our first step is to divide the first row by 2 to obtain 1 on the main diagonal. As a result, we get the following. The first row is 1, negative 1 half, 3 halves and 2. And the second row is negative 3, 2, 1 and 5. And the third without any changes also. Negative 4, 2, negative 6 and negative 8. Now we must eliminate x1 from all the equations except the first one. Let's begin with the second equation. To eliminate x1, we need to multiply the first row by 3 and add it to the second row. This is what we get. The first row without changes, 1, negative 1 half, 3 halves and 2. The second row, 1 times 3 minus 3 equals 0. Negative 1 half times 3 is negative 3 halves plus 2 equals 1 half. 3 halves times 3 is 9 halves, plus 1, 11 halves. And 2 times 3 plus 5 equals 11. And the third row without changes. Negative 4, 2, negative 6, and negative 8. Now to obtain 1 on the main diagonal, we will multiply the second row by 2. And this is what we get. 1, negative 1 half, 3 halves and 2 in the first row. The second row multiplied by 2 is 0, 1, 11 and 22. And the third row without changes, negative 4, 2, negative 6 and negative 8. Now we will perform the same operation for the third row. To eliminate x1, we will multiply the first row by 4 and add it to the third row. So we get 0 over here. So in the first row we have 1, negative 1 half, 3 halves, and 2. In the second row, 0, 1, 11, and 22. And in the third row, 1 times 4 minus 4 equals 0. Negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2, plus 2 also 0. 3 halves times 4 is 6, minus 6 gives us 0. And 2 times 4, 8, minus 8, also 0. Now let's have a closer look at the matrix we obtained. In the third row we have all zeros. So this is actually the equation 0 equals 0. And now our system degenerates to the system with two equations and three unknowns. As a matrix it looks like this. In the first row we have 1, negative 1 half, and 3 halves and the free term 2. And in the second row we have 0, 1, 11 and 22. Such systems are known as indefinite systems and in this case we can only represent two of the unknowns using the third unknown. For example, we will use x3. So our first step is to eliminate x2 from the first equation. To do this, we will divide the second row by 2 and add it to the first row. So we get 0 divided by 2 is 0 plus 1 equals 1, then 1 half plus negative 1 half equals 0, 
and 3 halves plus 11 halves equals 7. And the three terms, 22 divided by 2 is 11, plus 2 equals 13. And the second row without changes, 0, 1, 11, and 22. Now let's return to our system of equations. As a system, it looks like this x1 plus 7 times x3 equals 13 and x2 plus 11 times x3 equals 22. Now we can represent x1 and x2 through x3. So x1 equals 13 minus 7 times x3 and x2 equals 22 minus 11 times x3. So this is the solution for the given system.